Welcome back, everybody, to another Digital Gate Studios production. We have another Two Tamers talk with my guy Jeff. Hey, hey. We are back from Locals once we again. Are. It was a blast tonight, oh, man. man. It was a barn burner. Tonight. It was great. I think a lot of people, there was this like common consensus. I think there was a like a Facebook kind of thread going around where a lot of people were thinking about playing jank. But then we had the complete opposite where yeah. people are still Nats testing or people are in that BT-11 mindset of just grinding against Black War Gray and figuring out what they're going to do to beat that in the future. So it was an awesome mix tonight. Outstanding. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of really competitive, gritty, grimy, like meta stuff. And yeah. then a lot of fun stuff, too. I mean, I played yeah. Security Control. What did you play? I played a new deck that will be posted in the channel here in a couple days. Yep. I don't even know what to call it, like a purple Omnimon uh turbo deck it's okay so for those of you who don't know there was this cool facebook post somebody was asking for like some interesting decks this guy posted this awesome deck list just getting as many options into trash as possible playing avenge kid for cheap and then getting into that bt10 x antibody omnimon yeah and it's killer it is so much fun and i think you took it to the next level i did i did i i I mean i do think i made it a little bit better i'm still tweaking it so tonight was Good test, good test run to see like what changes I want to make and whatnot. So I, I got some ideas for the future, but that deck profile video is should be posted soon. Yes, so. we post, we got that film. We got it recorded. We also yep. got we did. Passion Project of mine in the can, which is Diabormon. Yes, um, found a way to make it remotely competitive, and it's a lot of fun. It's a fun deck, oh, but yeah. it, and it can it can win. So it's it's if you if you are a Diabormon fan. Check out that video because it is a good, viable way to play. Now, those in will all be format. posted next week, I think. This coming week, yeah, yeah, yes, for sure. yes. So, yeah. but no locals. I played. Uh, I played security control. I uh, that was good. Dressed it up in some machine Dramon sleeves, trying to be cheeky, but uh, you know, as soon as you hatch, hatch that Vixie, they know what's <laughs> they know, up. They know exactly. A lot of people on our locals have seen the videos, and as soon as I hatch that Vixie, they're like, "Here we go." Yeah, because it's not like yeah. you all some <laughs> yellow base in your machine Dramon. No. <laughs> So uh, I went two and two. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, um, yeah. A couple changes that I'm going to make to the deck. A couple changes I already made, and we'll talk about that when we get to our cards of the week. Um, but the changes that I made did what they were supposed to do and had a lot of fun with that. Uh, there's just a couple more changes I want to make to it. Because I <laughs> might it take is, that. Right? I know I'm going to eat my words as a Machine Drummond loyal fan, but I might take that to Mox Valley Games. That's on. crazy. I feel like you have to take... What what deck represents you? But it's on February nineteenth at twelve thirty yes. p.m. in Springfield, <laughs> Oregon. But I feel like you have to take the deck that represents you. So I feel like Machine Drums, what you got to take. But I understand oh, with man. the way that. But deck I put performs. almost as much work into this. You really have. for so you really many have. sets. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, and it's competitive, so it'll be fun. I, I'm not sure yet. I'm having a lot of fun with both. It's really going to come down. Here's here's what it's going to be. It's going to come down to that first week when we get BT eleven cards because I'm putting that new. Yes option in my security control yeah and i'm also putting that new uh metal tyranno in my uh, machine Dramon. machine Dramon. so yes. whichever one performs better in our testing within that short period yeah. i'll probably make the call the last minute call then yeah i might just have to take some time off work and just strictly test that set for a week straight do nothing but grind out some games yeah unlike our fellow fans who just grind on tabletop, tabletop simulator yeah. which i have nothing against that i am yeah. jealous that you get to do that and uh yeah <laughs> don't get married and uh don't get don't get you know a career right <laughs> uh, we had a couple people today that uh or one of our good friends at locals was just like how many hours have you logged against black war gray for like zero zero it's like <laughs> I mean, i'm terrified of that deck i've I don't, watched the gameplay videos i know how it works yeah like i've seen some gameplay but i think like testing against it is something that's just super valuable and like like he did really good tonight. I think he was playing for the the top spot tonight. Yeah, the guy and Nick, that, you yeah. can tell the amount of work he's been putting into this game because he's one of our relatively new players. Yeah, and he is just putting in more hours than anybody else in this game right now. I think he showed he's up to our locals it. with uh, D Reaper. That was his first deck. Yes, yeah. he showed up with D Reaper, and he was just even from he's the beginning he was yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? But like the amount of work he's been putting in lately, he's killing it. So yeah. I love seeing that that growth in players. Yeah, just the look in people's eyes when they start like finding ways to win you know like yeah you get that first win and you're like yes this game is so much fun you know yeah 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 but hopefully we get those wins down in springfield mm-hmm. oregon because that yes. is where we are that's i think a lot of people so we have nats that a lot of people are training for or a correct, few people correct. that got invites but there's also a big core group of people that are spending that 40 bucks for that huge prize yeah for of that, that ghost Mom. omni and whatever the other prizing is down yeah. there for the for the top uh, I'm spot. almost wondering, like, if there is a good anti-meta black or gray deck 
maybe not anti-meta, maybe just anti-black or gray. Like, how far could you go with that deck if you built a deck specifically geared to stopping black or gray? Really hard, man. I it's... know. I feel, like the fact that black or gray does everything that it does is like, geez. As a big fan of Malamiotismon, when you needed Yukio to to, to stay on board. This black or gray is just the bane of my existence yeah. because I will never be able to play that deck again oh, against it. I mean, so it stops <laughs> BP reduction, it stops all. I mean, I mean, like Hades Force deleting tamers and stuff. Like it's like, geez, like it, it's going to be a crazy meta for sure. It's going to be a force to be reckoned with, right? And I think it's, I think it's fair to say now that we're close enough to the set, like coming out, that they're not going to do any preset bans. I really like, didn't think they were going to do yeah, any restrictions or anything like that. Like. You know, if anything, because Bandai has been a reactive, which is fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this is not a complaint, right? About the restrictions that they do make, right? But you and I were just talking about this on the drive over. Um, we were talking about the reprint set and certain cards now being legal over in Japan. Mm -hmm. For example, P9 Agumon. The Agumon, if you have a Greymon, you get plus 2K. So for all those, like, you know, trying to look ahead at, like, the Japanese meta, you know, seeing, like, what are they playing to win, you know? Why hasn't even War Gray X Antibody or Black War Gray before BT11 been super successful? Well, it's because people couldn't get that card. That yeah. wasn't legal in Japan. So now all of a sudden with this reprint set, it is legal for Japan. The, I want to see the rise. Like all of a sudden I want to see Greymon fans and the Greymon tribal decks come full steam, take all the top events over and overseas and just... So I'm I'm very curious about that myself because uh, we were talking about you know the difference between overseas meta and our meta for sure. Yeah, I mean that leads into kind of a big topic too. It's, yeah, it's a big reveal this week. It kind of blew up our I Discord. Think it blew, it blew a lot of people up. Locals. A lot of people. Yeah. Um, and everyone's kind of divided over it, and I I think I I'm devil's advocate because yeah, I'm not that upset about it. So we were talking about it on a different podcast when we were. Uh, Going over the reveals for the reprint set. Yeah. yeah. Now they're picking the bangers and are we going to get a rotation and this and that. Doesn't look like that rotation's coming anytime soon because I, yeah, we're I, not even getting those cards. At least I, not right now. I don't think Bandai has done a rotation yet in any of their games and I don't think they're going to do it on Digimon. And I think that this solidifies that because they're not giving us the full set. So please tell us the news about RB1. So it looks like we're not getting any of the reprints. So we're not getting any of those foiled uh, HPDs or Jack Raids or Mega Dramons or all the cards that we were looking for. The ones that you and I were yeah. looking for. And because what we were talking about, because there was a whole you know hubbub about uh, English is not going to get any of these cards. And then they yeah. gave all that support for the Gamma and the Jellies yeah. and stuff. And they're like, there's no way they can withhold... Which is, all of this stuff, yeah. because these are all brand new cards, and lo and behold, that's exactly what they're not doing. Which is they're crazy giving me, us right? those cards. Yeah, they're going to yeah. give us all the new cards, so we're actually going to get to play with all the cards, you know, yeah. as we should. But it's I, I don't want to say you know like I, maybe this is wrong you know to be egotistical like this, but that reprint set kind of felt like it was geared towards the American market, anyways. Yeah. Again, I don't know. I don't live overseas. I don't have as many contacts as I would like over there. Um. So I guess the need for a reprint set over in the U S versus Japan or whatever, it felt like the U S needed it more because yeah. there's a lot of people getting new to the game that didn't play since BT one that needed a lot of these staples or that are just wanted to collect or whatever. Right. And it's so the fact that they're getting the full thing and we're not like, I'm not upset about it. You know, like I get it. Like it's not a bad call. Right. But we do get the Gammon stuff. We do get the Jellymon tribe. We do get the Angora yeah. tribe. So that's good. Like yeah. I would be upset if we didn't get any of that. Well, and as a collector, you know, like, yeah. it, it doesn't yeah. hurt. I mean, obviously, like, newer players are going to be like, meh, because I really want those, like, I want that Lusamon. I don't want to pay a lot for it. I don't Isn't wanna... there a BT1 tie in there, too? I think so, Like, yeah. having a good BT1 tie there's for the cheaper. There's the uh, Scary Tech 1 Greymon. There's, yeah. you know, there's some yeah. bangers in there that people don't want to pay 10 plus bucks for. But, I mean, yeah. honestly, that Security Tech Greymon, if you're looking at it from a value point of view, like, that's a $10 card because it's a $10 card. There's like, a reason, it's why, a reason it's a why it's a good card. Yeah. So, I mean, and, it, and it, it kind of rewards players that did invest that money early on. So yeah. it's almost like they're kind of playing a little bit to their fan base and the fact with the early players. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. It doesn't upset me that See, much. I don't Obviously, know if I like, it doesn't hurt my feelings yeah. because like I don't need any of those reprints. Like we were just looking forward to the foils of the cards yeah. that weren't foiled. Like yeah, I don't know if I took it that way, like the rewarding the earlier players, because yeah. I think I think it'd be stupid for any company not to get new customers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think they knew that they probably weren't gonna make a lot of money on the set. Like like for example, EX one, how cheap is a case of EX one? You know? Yeah. How cheap would a case of RB one be? if it was a full booster box with mostly reprints that people didn't want anyways, yeah. or, or not didn't want, excuse me, that's not the, need. you, you yeah, didn't yeah. need, right, right? Yeah. You know, when it's like, yeah, you can get the Gamma Mon stuff, and that's obviously great. Like, I would love, like, I mean, yeah, I know you and I probably would have split a case of it either way. If if they Maybe. did. Maybe. I don't know if I would have bought a case of that You don't think so? Set. No, because we would have had all the cards but 36. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's true. That's I mean, true. yeah, we'd want one foil of everything, but how cheap yeah. are those going to be to single out on yeah. TCG Player two weeks after the set comes out? I don't know. I, I just kind of hope Bandai kind of takes advantage of either giving us alt arts of the cards that they foiled, but there's something else that comes with our RB packs that we are getting in the US, right? What's that? You were saying promo cards. Yeah, so there's the uh, there's a there's a promo pack, so the packaging is completely independent. Yeah. Um, I guess we can probably try and show some of that off here. Um, I think I have some images for it. There is, a, it's completely independent packaging. Yeah. So it's going to be a brand new format. And that was one of the things in their press release that they announced. There's like, this is a brand new way that we're going to package this. And it had to be, right? Because it's only 36 cards. But there's yeah. a promo pack in there. It has one of seven cards. Yes. Uh, six of them are promos. And then one of them is the alt art of the, so seven cards total. One of them is like an ultra rare, what they call. The serious Mon, right? The serious the Mon, Mon level art. six? Yeah. So yeah. last time they did that, that I saw, it was just that Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode or whatever, the green one. The Geen. The Geen one. The yeah. Geen, yeah. Um, and it wasn't that rare. So I don't know yeah. how ultra rare that's going to be. Yeah. I don't know if they're actually going to make that a thing make it actually ultra rare if they're just going to say that like instead of you know yeah. one in every box you get one in every four boxes but i mean we opened that whole case and got a handful of those yeah we did games. it was nice so but i think you and i get kind of kind of guessing what those promo cards are going to be yeah there's a couple different there's a couple different opinions i remember i saw somebody's post that was a little bit different but i mean i think that those promos are hopefully going to be memory boost that's what i think they're going to be because it's six because one for each color and the fact that i think those are the only actual alt arts yeah of the promos that the u.s side would want like yeah of course we all want to foil jack raid you know don't get me wrong but it's like i think those mem boosts i know i want them real bad right like i know you do i'm a I'm actively collecting my playset of the other oh, box geez. toppers. I, I'm a fan of the box toppers, man. I like these. The purple one's the best one of those, but I'm oh, not a fan so of those. They're so cute, man. You got like the Coromon <laughs> eating spaghetti, and the, <laughs> I'm just not. A, I'm not a pasta fan. Memories. I'm sorry. I'm not a pasta fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but regardless, I think that. I mean, I think that's what those are going to be. Yeah. Who knows? I think so too. Don't quote me on that. You can fight me know. in the comments over it. But I know there is a lot of debate, and a lot, we had some people that were just like, I guess we're not getting all those reprints. I guess I'm going to have to spend the $10 on a security attack plus one. It's like, maybe and you will. And I understand where they're coming from. I get that. I'm, I understand. But it's like, if you're going to play that deck, yes, you might just have to do it. And that's the and evolution you, of every card you know, game, right? Like, if you want to yes. play the most meta card game, it's not going to hurt my feelings if a black orc great player has to spend 40 bucks to kill me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You because, know, especially because Digimon is a cheap game. Yeah. Yes, there are certain cards that are a little spendy, of yeah. course. But for the most part, after a set's been out, the super rares drop to under five bucks for the regular yeah. art, yeah. Right, right? You don't have to alt art everything. Yeah. You know, so you can play the game for cheap. Just and tell yourself that in the mirror. You, know? you yeah. don't have to, yeah, look at that's myself. That's what his wife in the tells him. Yeah. You don't have to play, yeah, yeah, right, right. But then she gets the alt arts and she loves the way yeah, they look yeah. and she loves the texture too. Know, so it's like, but no, no, you're right. It's just like, like yes, obviously having a ten dollar gray mon or whatever the price is at the security tech plus one. But now we're getting to the point where it's cheaper, right? Like I remember when the judge gray mons first came out, mm. and I thought it might be a good idea to buy a play set of those, and they have tanked. Yeah, ever and, since the ST11 came like, out. And I'm like thinking yeah. about this. Like, why did I buy those? Oh, you didn't know the ST11 was I mean, coming out. That's right? true. Yeah. That's true. And like, t- it was never about investing. I just yeah. wanted a foil security check plus one Greymon, right? Yeah. And ST11? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a box top yeah, because yeah, we didn't yeah. get ST11. Those yeah. ones are amazing. Those are my favorite ones out of all of them. They're so. also really hard to pull. So, yeah. yeah. It makes sense that those are the top rarity. So, ones. I love those, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not upset, but it's just like. There are certain sacrifices like, yes, if you want your deck to perform a certain way, you may have to spend the money. There's a reason why a staple card is a little bit more than others. But for the most part, this game is pretty cheap. Yeah. 
But people are still going to want yeah. those cards reprinted. So when does RB1 come out in the States? Do you August. Know? Mid-August. Mid-August. Right before our one-year anniversary at the channel. <laughs> right. That's yeah. the most important <laughs> date, guys. Important one year anniversary here at the channel, and we'll have some RB1 to celebrate. Yeah. So, I mean, that'll be a, it's going to be a supplemental set. Yeah. I'm curious to see how they introduce the timing of this. Yeah. Because in Japan, it comes out before BT13, but after EX4. Interesting. So okay. we're going to get two supplemental sets in yeah. between two big sets, right? Yeah, but EX4 is... I feel like the EX sets are slowly shifting to no longer just being supplemental. Like, yes, obviously they are. Mm, but yeah, I mean, there is but a there's lot no pre release. Of... There's no, they're only 76 True. card sets. But there they're is, smaller, yeah. there is archetypes in EX. Like, even EX. Oh, they're two. huge. Yeah. I mean, EX2 we had a D Reaper huge, archetype yep. that just came out of one. Yeah. Yep. Gallimon all of a sudden out of EX2. Justimon for me. Beelzemon. Yeah, EX4 know. is going to be insane because it's yeah. all Omnimon stuff. That's what I'm saying. EX4 has got tons you got of that, stuff. You got Alter S. You got Alter yeah. B. Like, I, th I, when I was looking through that list i was like oh this is bt12 oh it's not it's, it's yeah, ex4 it's, yeah 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 we're getting all of these new omnimons in ex4 so i'm pretty stoked about that and the artwork just keeps getting better and better and better. yeah it is like, yeah, it, it is, is getting insane yeah we have that going so we have all these we have a couple new mechanics that are starting to come out we are it's crazier yeah. it's crazy excuse me and they keep giving us so what do we have still we have raid to come out We've, right? Right, we haven't gotten raid yet it's coming out in bt11 right it yep, comes so out in 11 soon. yep and yep. then i think that that's it until we get barrier slash wall barrier slash wall yep is in which is this set which is if you were going to be deleted i don't I know if there was another mechanic that i can't think of. i'm sure there's one that i'm missing between 11 and 13 that yeah i can't think i of. think that there's a couple so we have oh oh the shinkai Oh, or, Alliance. Uh, uh, Alliance. What is that what they're going to call it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. The, it's pretty much a green mechanic. It's like a right? green mechanic, yeah. like giving green a good strong Or you can mechanic. destroy one of your Digimon. No, to it's, give you suspend that. it. You suspend oh, it to, to give, give that, that DP, DP to yeah. somebody else. Yeah, so Alliance. So we have Raid, oh. Alliance, and these translations might change, obviously. Yeah. And then we have uh, Barrier slash Wall. Yep, that's Which is when you're, one of your Digimon would be, de or when this Digimon would be deleted, you can trash the security to prevent it. Mm-hmm. And then we have another one coming out, which I'm pretty excited about in BT13. I think we're all excited about this. Well, you were, because you've been talking about burst modes for a long time, and we got our <laughs> first burst mode. And I know you were disappointed because you wanted Ravemon to be your no, first. No, no, I want them to save the best for last. Oh, okay. So you're so changing I, it. I up. want okay. them to give us the best one, the Ravemon burst mode, the best looking one last. And okay. hopefully it's just dominant. But no, Shine Gray burst mode is really cool. Mirage Gaogamon burst mode. Did is we get a shine? Cool. We didn't get a shine gray burst mode yet. We didn't. We did. We did. Oh, we get did. The shine gray burst oh, that's mode. Right. That was like last. That was week the or first something. one. Right. That was yeah. the first one. But we haven't. We didn't spend time talking about the burst mechanic or the not digi burst burst digivolve. Digi yeah, 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 burst yeah. digivolve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is really cool how they do it. it. Sometimes it sucks when you have this cool stack, right? Mm -hmm. And your big boss monster, your 15k level seven, has to get trashed at the next turn. Yeah. Like you really want to look at that and you want to keep it on board for a while, but uh, it seems like that's kind it of it is what it is. That's kind of the, I get it. That's kind of the theme it. with this set. Yeah. I mean, especially with the Royal Knights where they're out for a turn and then and they, they go away. They get tucked, right? Get tucked under Yig. So, oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's the one where you can you have to return the market. So it seems like the burst Digivolve always involves a tamer. And it's going to be the tamer specific to their tribe. Yes. yes. So it's going to be. Some have more than others. Like how many yeah. Marcus, how much, how many Marcuses does Shine Grade have? We have, have more to... Marcuses than Thomas Nornstein. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to that dude. Hopefully you're listening to this. Yeah. If you ever find this podcast, who's, who owns like a binder full of alternate art Thomases. Yep. That is amazing. Stonks, man. Just stonks right That guy's so, rich. That card went it, from $1.50 to 3 bucks over. You've quadrupled your return. Sell high. <laughs> um, yeah. you tell your grandkids you got rich. Tell off, your grandkids. Uh, not Bitcoin, but Thomas H. Norstein yes. box toppers that everyone laughed at you at. But you, you proved them, them wrong. You proved them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I'm excited. This, I mean, the fact that they're like actually giving Mirage Geogamon a support, giving him a new Thomas. They're giving him the burst mode. They're giving well, him a new they, three, they, four, and five, and six in this set as well. He got support in twelve too. Yes. Remember when that the uh, alt art from BT four got bought out yep. on TCG Player? Correct. Because I was trying to use it for new Mirage Hexablau, I think. I was going to put it in. The yeah, deck. there was some deck you were going to use it. Yeah, for. so I bought a play right. set for cheap because it's yep. cheap, but. It's actually a really pretty card. It is. Oh, yeah. There's also, so much yeah, gold because yeah. it was before we got to texture. All cards of BT4 were killer. Yeah. 
all that gold foil for sure no i mean like the like i said they're doing a really good job of giving all this stuff and i'm just looking at bt13 and i'm just like how do you have room for all this yeah it seems like they're like so every much card that has been released fits a tribe does something cool has its own play style has its own thing and it's just like how do you possibly have room for this because we were talking the early with bt13 and we were thinking oh this is all gonna be royal knights they're yeah. gonna have no room for anything else yeah Right, or there's going to be some weird thing in green when all of a sudden we're sitting at the shop, we're looking at our phone, and we're like, Green Royal Knight. Yeah. Right. So, for those of you who didn't see, there was a new Solomon and a new Mikamon or yeah. Mikamon. And I'm glad it came out today instead of tomorrow. Like, came well, out today. So, same thing happened last week where we did the podcast. There's a day <laughs> lapse where I have to edit this, and then it comes out on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And something comes out on the Thursday when I'm editing, and I'm like, I wish we would have freaking talked about that. Yeah. So, now it's yeah. going to be a Green Royal Knight. Has to be Leopardmon. It has to be Leopardmon because it's a beast. Yep. And that's the only thing I can think of that a Mikamon would digivolve into. That the only one we have left too, really. Yeah. I mean, right? you could use that, I guess, an Examon, but you'd make the deck worse. <laughs> yeah. with, with like all the Cordramons and Drummonds you play in that deck, you're not going to play that. So, so if Leopardmon, Leopardmon's going to be green. If Leopardmon's going to be green. So we still haven't seen what Royal Knights. We haven't seen an Omnimon yet. We haven't seen Omnimon yet. So is that going to be a secret? I don't know, man. That's I was tough. convinced that was going to be a secret because of the Genku exclusion. Yeah, the fact that it was going to not Can't let play you play it. a really strong Omnimon. So I think Omnimon is probably one, and I was con- I was convinced it was going to be another uh, some kind of Royal Knight. But after seeing the Dynasmon reveal, yeah. and the Lord Knight reveal, I think we might get some version of the Satan mode Lusamon. That would be sick. I think that's what the other secret's going to be. So I wonder if it's going to be Omnimon and Lusamon Satan mode or. What are they going to You had to help me with the lore because as soon as I started seeing these purple purple royal knights that had to do with Lusamon, I was like, I had no idea that those two even went together. Because I, last yeah. time I saw Lusamon, it was in a deck with ancient yeah. Gururumon and ancient yeah. Greymon or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the little mosaic altars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The best no, thing. I totally forgot about that lore myself when I remember we were making our video of what colors we thought the lore knights were going to be. And I was like, oh, purple's not going to have any royal knights. And then they gave them two. Yeah. Because of the Lusamon stuff. And it's like, okay, that's cool that they're doing Dynas and Lord Knight, you know, supporting Lusamon like they did in, you know, uh, uh, Digimon Frontier. So yeah. that's that's pretty cool to me. But, I mean, we still haven't seen... Just Examon, Omnimon. Gallantmon. Gallantmon. Old Force. No, there, we saw the Old Force, didn't we? For BT-13? I think so. Okay, maybe I haven't. But we haven't seen a new Magnamon. We haven't seen a Magnamon. We saw a Contortus that was good. That was yellow, so that one was kind of obvious. We because... also haven't seen... We haven't um, seen an Examon. Yeah, right, right. I said that yep, one. Yep. Oh, you did um, We also... The big X factor is Paladin mode. We have not seen Is that going to be an X antibody? Because the other yeah. ones weren't. The other ones weren't, so... You're the lore master. Wait, that say I, that again? The other Imperial ones Dramon. What? What did you ask me? I'm sorry. We didn't say that one earlier because... Paladin we, mode. Yeah, Paladin mode. It'd be awesome if they gave us a new Paladin mode. But that wasn't an ex-antibody in the last card. No, no, they're never ex-antibody. Oh, Royal Knight. They're Royal Knight, Royal I'm Knight. sorry. Not, yeah. No, I don't know if it's going to be Royal Knight. They're probably not going to do that, per se. They're going to stay with like the current? I, I don't know what yeah, the IP yeah. There's is. Sometimes but... the Royal Knight, sometimes it's not. I don't think they're going to give it to that way. So, Because yeah. I mean, they gave us Jess mode. I've been wrong about a bunch of things in this set. I didn't think that there was going to be Purple Royal Knights. I didn't think there was going to be Green Royal Knights. I they, thought there was going to be Diabormon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the <laughs> fact that they're like, you know what? Green needs something. Yeah. Here's here's a here's a royal knight for you. Green. Here's a Leopardmon. Here's a Leopardmon. And so a now, Solomon. so now is is Leopardmon going to be good enough to make Green relevant, or is Leopardmon going to be the worst royal knight out of all of them? I don't know. The Lord Knight's pretty bad. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. We'll see for sure what happens. But I'm very excited about the set. The fact that we've already gotten two of these burst modes, potentially three more. If you include the Bancho Leomon burst mode that some people want. And the Rave Mon. And the Rave Mon. But I think for sure we'll get a Rave Mon burst mode. And I think for sure we'll get a Rose Mon burst mode. So, so as someone that doesn't prescribe to a lot sure, of the IP sure. and doesn't, I'm not like caught up on yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff hits me like a sack of bricks. And I'm just like, <laughs> how is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes chess mons out of nowhere. I am so excited. You for were chess like mons. stoked about this. I'm like, I was, what okay. is this? Is there anything that's not a Digimon? For someone like, who I'm is, a huge yeah. chess player, and I think I talked. <laughs> I talked about being a chess player. You did. I on forgot our, about like that. our second video we ever yeah. did, where we talked about how we build decks, yeah. how we play the that's game. Right. That's right. And so I saw this, and I was just like, dude, this fits my play style and my personality perfectly. <laughs> I was like, I love chess. That's like yes. my jam. And so it's like seeing all these and how they play off each other, and the fact that like the level three 
on deletion, if you have yes. enough in your trash, can play the level five for free. Like super, super cool. I mean, I think this is going to make analog youth stonks go through the roof. Yeah. For those that want to play chess money, you'd probably play analog youth or yeah. something. Super cool. Or, I mean, like, you know, it depends what color the queen chess mon is. So there's queen chess mon, there's rook chess mon, and then there's black versions of like knight chess mon and the pawn chess mon. And whatever color those end up, mm. are they going to stick all yellow black right for this line? Or yeah. are they going to do a different color, like purple black or purple yellow for the remaining pieces? I guess that was a bad pun. Excuse me ah, for the chess for the chess team for the chessmon tribal, right? To see what happens, or is this going to be like you're going to get a taste of this now? You're going to get just four of them now, and you get the next four next set. So hopefully well, it's not like that. Well, and like how many tacky right. puns are you like? If you play chessmon, are you going to be like checkmate, bitch? Like are you going <laughs> are you going to win? Or is that how I you're think gonna you win? have to? You I have think to, you right? have you're to. Like... I mean, like you're like I, yeah. <laughs> You, they have no security left. You have a body on board. You're like check. If they you have know, like, like a, if they have like one of those tall memory counters, you just tip it over when you're done. And you're like, oh yeah, you're dead. Or you like yeah. you show up to your deck and your deck box has a little timer on them. Oh yeah. So you do your turn and you click it. Honestly, and then, and then it starts counting your opponent's turn. Like, I'm not gonna lie. There take. are so many times where I wish that was a thing. Like you, you play at locals against slow yeah, you players play fast, and you're like, you know, you're like pushing that thing. Like your turn, go. <laughs> oh my <laughs> I, I just I'm, i need to see this like bt uh 13 like laid out in those cool facebook charts where they show you like what they're expecting of how many of every color we're still missing because like we haven't seen a lot of the it seems like we've seen excuse me it seems like we've seen so many things how could they possibly have room for all it of seems this that way because like right? typically our royal knights are srs right yes always. of course essentially of course. which makes sense which but makes sense. so many of the royal knights in this set are just rares there's like oh. I still think there's half of the SRs yet to be revealed. Well, there'll be burst modes. At uh, least two burst more burst modes, modes. or Lucimons. I mean, we could get true, more true. Lucimons. We could get more Chaos modes. Like, yep. With the way that purple interacts so much with Lucimons, I I have to think that we're going to get more, and it's Maybe not going to be like a purple level three Lucimon. Right. You like, know, there's no way. I, I I don't think that they're making a whole purple. Uh, deck meta that's gonna just yeah. rely on you having cards from 10 sets ago. Why not? <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna have reprints, then yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's only two Lucimons in the entire set, and yeah. one is from 10 sets ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Mm, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's gonna be interesting for sure. But the King I mean, Chess Mon's pretty dope. I'm actually pretty excited about that I because mean, uh, the, the rest of purple is gonna be all my Rave Mon support. You know, am I going to be lucky because I'm going to be, I think there's only one Yoshina, which is the green tamer for oh, Rosemont. Oh, yeah. So, but there's also only one. I was going to ask you about Okay, that. okay, okay. Okay, so this was right. my yeah, big yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, as soon yeah. as I saw that thing where you can delete your own egg. Yes. So what do you think about that? You're always a proponent okay, of okay, leave okay, the raising okay. area alone. Let me finish leave my last point. I'll get right back yeah. to that. I'll get right back to that. I'll get right back to that. So Yoshina, the only green tamer right now for the Rosemont tribal stuff. That means burst evolution. There's got to be a memory setter Yoshina coming out soon. And then we did get that purple memory setter. I always forget the dude's name for Ravemon stuff. So are we going to get another tamer of him? Or is the Ravemon line going to be the only one that only has one of the tamer that you're going to need for the burst mechanic? Yeah. But going back to your question, um, I'm not as upset as you think I would be about the, <laughs> my sacred safe space of the raising area. Because you're doing it to yourself? Uh, yeah, se- because I'm doing it to myself. Yeah. Because <laughs> if my opponent can interact with it, I, the game would be broken. Yeah. But the fact that I get to do it, you know, and I, I don't think there's a security effect, so it doesn't just delete it if there's... I'd have to re-double check everything yeah. for sure on the card. Um, so I think I'm okay with it, but... Do the uh, Yoshino stonks go up now? I d- because you I finally think, can use that tamer that returns an egg from your trash. I think your the stack. Yoshino stonks might go up a little bit more than the Thomas stonks because <laughs> at least Thomas was a meme. Yoshino was just so bad it wasn't even worth the meme. Yeah. So I don't know anyone who owns a binder of that alt art. I might have like six of them in a box at the house, though. I'd have to double check. But it's just like, I mean... The fact that there's more Thomas Tamers than there are Yoshinas. I just remember right? opening so those like, boxes because we opened a lot of boxes. Yes. And it's like every time you crack the box, and that's the first thing yeah, like Yoshina, staring you like, in the face and you're like, cool. Like, why couldn't you have been a Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something or anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited, though, because a lot of this uh, Thomas Nornstein stuff, uh, you remember that really bad Justin Mon I built with the blue and black Tamers where I used the, um, the blue Thomases 
with the uh, black Mirage Geo. Or not black Mirage Geogamon, black mock Geogamon, the oh, level five, yeah, yeah. where he has jamming. Yeah. Right? He has jamming and reboot and stuff like that. And I've used four Thomases in that deck just to be ridiculous. That deck was funny, and that might make a, a stronger deck. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere near one, competitive. So is that somewhere in Dragon Shield? That, that, that is, attic somewhere? That is yeah. sleeved in a box. I know. I actually was just looking at that the other day. No wonder you can't find any of your cards. They're all yeah. sleeved in like decks from like from 2020. Because yeah. I don't take apart my decks when I'm working on these and when I make really bad decks. So, because. Like, I know I'll fix one it day. later. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll get better eventually. Eventually, a new Thomas will come out that will just do new level. So yeah, but I can't get another Rada Sonata. But you can have to get another Thomas. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Silly. <laughs> but yeah, these uh, these new these new reveals like just keep getting sillier and sillier. It's and crazy. then How much the, the big yeah, one hit yeah. because we were talking about what the SRs were going to be, and we're talking about protagonists, antagonists. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know more about the IP than I do, obviously. I've said it a yeah. thousand times. So we get this really cool new uh, Belfamon. One of the Demon Lords. It's on that uh, play mat on right that mat there. I'm looking yeah, at too. right there. He's always been one of my favorite ones. He you looks know, mean. He's got, he's got that nice, so that little bat symbol that a lot of the Demon Lords or Devimon have. It's called the Mark of Evil for Digimon. <laughs> like Devimon's got it on his hand. Like a lot of them have it on their chest or stuff like that. The fact that they gave us the sleep mode and the rage mode and a tamer for it yeah. and like a whole line for it in one go is awesome. You get a tamer, you get an option, you get all kinds. You of get cool everything stuff, you need for that deck right away. And that option was not bad, I think, for just in general purple decks. But speaking of things that are good in general purple decks, something that I am a fan of is that new level three, the, uh, the oh, God, oh, that thing is shoot. broken. What's yeah. his name? I am. I was so excited to get it because the like Caprimon or no, uh, Fas Fask Fascomon. Yeah. That's right. That's what it is. So I, I, I grew up playing Digimon Dusk, which is part of the reason I'm so excited for the Chessmon line because that first dungeon you would go into on on that game is you'd see all the Chessmon dudes and you could start getting that early on your team, and then Fascomon was like the guy who maintained your Digimon farm, and you but he was never available in the game. And there's yet to be a game that I could play, at least that I have played, where I could get a Fascomon. <laughs> so now I'm excited to have this as a card. And Digimon all of a sudden is like, oh yeah, by the way, all these characters that you've like been attached to or obscure characters from random games, here you go. We're we're gonna finally give them to you now instead of giving you another Agumon, even though they did give us an Agumon this set. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's well, it's cool. a set, so we're gonna get an Agumon, right? Yeah, yeah. God. Every set, there's a different. It doesn't it's matter funny, what color. We're it's funny because it doesn't bother me as much as you think it would. Because if you're gonna do a Greymon line in a set, right, you you should have an Agumon that yeah. supports set. I got my play set of Nokia alt arts. Okay, so <laughs> eventually I'll use those on. It just yeah. gives me more colors to use them on, right? Yes, exactly. But going into that Balfamon, is that how you say it? Balfamon. Balfamon. Yeah. So it's really cool because the sleep mode is is really, really, really neat. So you play the rage mode first, it looks like. So at the start of your main phase, delete all your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. Like yeah. Just, just, that's, that's, that's pretty that, killer. That's, that's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's a huge Digivolve cost. I think it's six, which is, which is huge. Oh, and I think he's the strongest level six we've seen because he's at 14K. Yes. I can't think of another level six that's a base 14K. I'm going to try and put this together with Alice to make him cheaper. Alice makes a lot of sense for the deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> well, it's great because like we have a lot that new inheritable on that Fascomon is just to draw one trash one on deletion. Yeah, so and not it has only the inheritable he, as yeah. well. <clears throat> so now it's like you have all of these cool things that are supporting the deck that are just gonna be good strong purple stables in general. Yeah. So he has that like the start of the main phase, like delete all your opponents level four lower, level yeah, five or lower. Yeah, yeah. And then if you have six or less in hand, this Digimon gets plus three K and security tech plus one. That's sick. So, very, very cool. End of attack by deleting one of your other Digimon unsuspended. So, so it's <laughs> kind of that whole thing. It's got a demonic it, disaster built into built it. Built into it. And yeah. it has an inheritable. So, it, yeah. it goes with the sleep mode. So It's bad because I'm supposed to be a Ravemon Burst Mode fan this set, but that might be my favorite deck out of this set, yep. is that right there. Because I love playing purple like that, you know, and it's got a lot of good elements of, like, red and stuff that I like as well. So it's got this cool <coughs> sleep mode. Yes. So you digivolve for one on top of the rage mode. Yep. And then uh, when He's digivolving, tired. by placing one rage mode from your trash at the top of this digivolve. So you put, you go sleep or rage, sleep, and then rage? Yeah, something like that. I have to reread it. <laughs> this Digimon can attack and isn't affected by your opponent. So like, 
it hides. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah not that's a great way to put the, it. It turns it into like a Mother D Reaper kind of thing. It's got tons of things going on with it where all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, I'm safe now, so. Well, that's it, guys. That is another, that's a wrap. The wrap. We nice. did our whole breakdown and we got tonight all wrapped up. We have a lot of things coming up. We still have a lot of reveals coming for BT13 that we're excited we about. Uh, make sure you put in the comments, like, what do you think the secrets are going to be? Yeah, we want to know about that for sure. You know, that's assuming that Bandai doesn't do what they normally do and just drop all the reveals between Wednesday and Friday. And so yeah, we look yeah, like so we're behind on what so we're talking about. all of a sudden we're yeah. behind. Like, yeah, you didn't realize this, but they dropped uh, Vangelium on burst mode. Clearly we weren't paying attention. You weren't okay, paying well, attention. February yeah. 1st right now, okay? So if it's, it's a drop after <laughs> February 1st. Then it's yeah, not can a... you believe it's already February? Jeez. Hey, I'm excited, man. We yeah. have another set coming. Yes. We yes. had confirmed our location for our locals, yeah, Wayward pre-release. City Games in Vancouver, Washington. If, you have, if, you, if you're near us or if you're within a couple hours, please drive out. Come play pre-release. It's the best event of all, any set always. It's a blast. Yeah. We can plug the hell out of that. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a yeah. Saturday. We don't know the time, but it's Saturday, September. Yeah. Or February, February 11th. 11th. Yes. It's, I think it's the day before the Super Bowl. Maybe, yeah. No, so I think we're going to have yeah. a busy weekend. You know, we're going to have to go kick a bunch of butts in uh, pre-release, and then we're going to have to go watch uh, the Super Bowl afterwards. So It's going to be an interesting pre-release because there are no two-cost rookies in this set, right? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I think we're kind of getting away from that. So well, there goes my I strategy. That, I was going to say, that goes my <laughs> strategy. So I don't know what I'm going to do for pre-release. It's just going to be whatever my no best. No bear uh, mons? Give me some bear mons, No man. bear mons. No yeah, mushroom mons? Yeah, we need a bear mon or a mushroom mon. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Am I supposed to they give us so many lasts that they're like, okay, guys, we got to tone this down. No more. Yeah, if costs. you guys are in town, so February 11th. Yes. Um, if you guys aren't aware, we do a full box pre-release. Oh, it's a blast. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a premium experience. I mean, it's obviously a little bit more spendy because you're getting a whole box. Um, so does that mean next week we're going to do our pre-release strategy video? Ooh, maybe we will. That I means might have we to write to that do topic down. Homework, yeah. I do some homework because uh, next week should be the seventh when we record, and pre-release will be that Saturday. Oh, that's think? coming up. It is yeah. coming up. Quick. That is Holy how that crap. works. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. have to do that. Talk about. Well, I mean, give everyone our strategy, and then they'll just beat us with it. We said that last time, but then you won. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I got that I, mat right there. You yeah, won that, won that mat, yeah. super nice mat, and you won the bragging rights, and then you got to... And I haven't bragged. No, no, no I know. I, I won know, with I Rookie Rush. Uh, well, I mean, it's Rookie a Champion everybody, Rush. Yeah, everybody gets one I box. Just, yeah. So anyways, tell us more. What is the so, event anyways, like? What's the format? So it is still the pre-release format, so there are no restrictions on cards, so you can have more than four cards if you want. Uh, you don't have to run all the eggs, even though with a box, you typically get enough eggs you to do what you yeah, want to do. You get at least five eggs. Uh, but it's fun because the way that Digimon uh, distributes cards in boxes, unless <laughs> if you hit an alt art, then you can have two of an SR. But yeah. the way that Digimon distributes boxes, like you only get one of each SR that you do get. They yes. don't do doubles in one box. Yes. So you can't double up unless you get the alt art. That usually, like when you do get that, it kind of yeah. dictates how you build your deck. Yeah, so exactly. It's a lot of fun. Exactly. Or if you get a, you know, a good secret. Not to mention, this is going to be a lot like uh, BT6 when we did pre-release. Oh. Because we get the memorial pack. That's right. So we have, oh, I think we get two extra packs in that yeah, box. Yeah, so one of them is going to be the, oh, one's going to be the illustrator pack, right? Yeah. I think. And then yeah. the other one is going to be the reprint, or not the reprint, but the uh, the ones we did, the reveals we did last week. Got it, got it, got so it. Those big bangers. So Also that Commander Mon. Yeah, or Dory Mon. Oh, what if I get a bunch of Eos Mons? There we go. You get one. <laughs> yeah, we can do the one. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so you get to play with whatever you get inside the box and uh, participation prizing. So yeah, yeah, whatever the promo giveaway is. I think it's is an for- Agumon. Agumon, nice. That's what we need. I believe that's what we need. It's, but it's a black Agumon, I believe, is the Got it. participation price. I'll have to look that up. Is that what so. it was last time? No, maybe. Yeah, last time it was the black uh, BT8 Agumon. Yeah, maybe I'm living in the past. I don't know. I have to look at it. We'll pull Same, it up. I feel that but too. anyways, any of the participation stuff that you get, anything you get with a pre-release uh, is playable in the format. So, yeah. And then, of course, you know, you get to change in between rounds. Anything that you 40 don't... 40 card deck, right? 40 card? 40 card deck, yeah. Anything that you don't put in your deck is a part of your sideboard, so yep. you can change in between rounds. Um, it's just fun. It's dynamic. One of my favorite ways to play the game, yeah. for sure. And we it's haven't had draft. one in a long time. I know. So. It feels like it's been so long. It's been like a year, last year. 
It, well, I mean, because the last set that we got was EX is EX three. Yeah, and so that didn't have it. We don't do a pre release yeah. for the EX set. So it's been since BG10. Cross. Yeah, it's been a long time. So been a long time. We are very excited about that. I think we're gonna have a good turnout. But uh, the more people that show up, the more that our shop owner prizes out. I mean, we hit. I can't remember how many hit last time, but he was just throwing boxes. Yeah, he gave away a box. Or I think at least one. Yeah, one or two. He just yeah, raffled just, them. Just raffled we had such them a huge off. Huge turnout. Yeah. So I mean, it's a decent buy-in because you do get a box. I think it's like a hundred and hundred and twenty or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like I that. Have to look at it, but you get a box and you get the participation prizing, and then you get the prize support. You get the, the prize end. support at the end. So it's really fun. Um, yeah. So feel free, make it out, come hang out. Yes, Local. please. A lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Thank you.